hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this beautiful cape dress with the black design around the neckline now this is a 360 degrees flare so if this is something you're interested in i'll say keep on watching hit on the subscribe button and let's get started So guys, to make this blouse, you just need about 1 yard of crepe fabric and 2 yards of your African print. So that's what you will need to be able to make this blouse. Now for the upper part, we're going to start by drafting out the black part of this. So you're going to fold a piece of paper into four, like you're about to cut out a 360 degrees flare. Okay, just the same way you do when you want to cut out a 360 degrees flare. So once you fold it into four, the folded edge of your paper that doesn't have any cut is where you are going to take as the neckline and then the upper part will serve as the shoulder so on the shoulder here i came in by three inches for my neck width and then for the neck depth i came down by seven and a half inches this is because it's a v neckline so i'll connect from the top now to meet this one i have underneath here to get my v neckline now for the width of the black um, border around the neckline, I'm just going to be using three and a half inches. So from the end of the V here, I'll come down by three and a half inches. And from the shoulder here, I'll come out by three and a half inches. So I'll just connect the two points as well to give me another V. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut along the black lines. so guys once you're done cutting it out it's going to look like this okay so you see it has like a v-neckline and it looks like a cape kind of so now i'm going to use this on my actual fabric the fabric i want i want to use for the neckline i'm going to be folding the fabric just like i folded the paper when i was about to cut this out so i will do that and then of course i'll add stitching allowance around the paper so I'm done cutting it out and you can see I had stitching allowances all the way around the paper as you can see and I cut out four pieces um, for this particular part. So we'll be using um, two for the front and two for the back. That means that we're also using the actual fabric as lining. Okay, so two for the front and two for the back as you can see. So these two here, I'm going to go ahead and stitch them down here from here to here around like this. Turn it over to the right side and iron it out. And i'll do the same thing for this other one here as well so guys um for the other part of the blouse which is the full up uh, cape you're going to go ahead and fold the rest of your fabric that's the african prints that you're using you're going to fold it into four so first how you do it is just the same way you fold your fabric when you are going about a 360 degrees flare. so you fold it into two first like i'm doing here so fold it into two and then you're going to fold it again into two so this time around it's now a fold in four places so i'm going to go ahead and arrange everything now and iron it out so that it's standing very perfectly so guys once you're done ironing it out you're going to determine the length of your full dress okay so for me i'm just going to be using all the fabric that i have here on this fold so it's 19 inches so from the center point here i'm marking 19 inches i'm using this 19 inches to draw a circle all the way around so if you have an idea of how to go about a 360 degrees flare that's basically what i'm doing here so i'm just using 19 inches from the same point to draw a, a, a circle around and i went ahead to cut it out so if you open this up fully it's a full circle so now the part where there was no cut at all remember that's our neckline and the upper part is the shoulder so i'm going to place this pattern paper on, on it again like this like you see me doing like this just like i'm doing here so i'm going to go ahead and mark at the end of the pattern paper this is where the black is going to stop on the actual fabric okay so once you're done marking this out you cannot remove the pattern paper and don't cut exactly on the line you have cut about half an inch away from it so now you have your v neckline on the actual fabric but is wider than what you have on the pattern paper and on the side from the shoulder i just went ahead to go in about half inch and just trimmed it away so this is what i have this is what the neckline will look like so by the time i'm done stitching the um, black part of this pattern we are going to be stitching it into this wide neckline 
so now i've gone ahead to stitch down these v piece here like i said i was going to do you can see i've done the same thing on this part here i've done the both of them like that i've stitched around the neckline now we're going to be attaching this to the wide neckline on the actual fabric so you're going to go ahead and open up the shoulder area make sure not to make any mistake you can put back your pattern paper just to be sure of which area is the shoulder so this area is our shoulder here i'm going to open it up and just cut from here i'm going to go ahead and cut it out here and do the same thing for the other side as well so now we are going to be placing this on the neckline so i'll just pick one of them and i'm going to make a notch in the center so make a notch in the center here just a very tiny notch so once you've made a notch in the center of your actual fabric you're going to go ahead and place the v from the center here and start pinning it down why you're making this notch is because this is a sharp v and you don't want it to be looking weird when you stitch it on the sewing machine so i'm just going to go ahead and pin this all the way to the other end and from the center again on the other side i'm going to also pin to the other end so many times that i miss you so on this other side make sure that you are pinning it from this center again make sure that it's not folding up so just go ahead and pin all the way to the top as you see me do like this so guys i'm done pinning it down now and this is what it looks like so we've not even stitched it down and it looks really nice like this so i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch from the center to the top on both sides i'm done stitching it down now as you can see i've done it for the both pieces this is the back and this is what the front is looking like so this is what the other part looks like as well so you can see how nice they look so you're going to place the both of them together right sides facing each other like i'm doing like this make sure to arrange them properly and once you're done arranging everything and it's well arranged you're going to go ahead and cut off the excess on the shoulder here and also do the same thing on the other side now we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to make a stitch to join the shoulders here so go ahead and join your shoulders with just about half an inch and the last part will be to finish up the ends so guys this is it after i was done stitching down the shoulders mine looked a little bit shorter than the one i was trying to recreate um so that means when you're cutting out your own you have to make it a little bit longer okay and when you're wearing this you cannot wear it alone because it's just a cape you need to wear a singlet under when you're putting it on okay so this is the final look of our blouse and this is what it looked on me after i was done making it so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about it in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next one